You can clearly see the front is rotating much faster than the rear. Welcome to Big Sound Hobbies. Today we are going to continue our upgrade series of Element Enduro by installing 11.83% overdrive gear option. The RTR version ships with 5.7% overdrive gears installed and also comes with the extra parts to increase the overdrive to 11.83% in the parts bag. Here are the two parts that you will need to change the overdrive from 5.7% to 11.83%. This is the 26 teeth gear and this is the 54 tooth gear. In comparison, the stock uses 27 teeth and a 53 teeth gears. Step 1 is to remove the drive shafts from the transmission which is held on by grub screws on both ends. Step 2 is to remove the four screws at the bottom of the skid plate which holds the transmission. Please note there are two different length screws. The longer screw goes into the holes in the middle section and the shorter screw goes into the holes close to the chassis. When you're putting it back together, you want to make sure you're using the correct lenses to the correct holes, otherwise it might impact the performance of the gears. Once again, note that the longer screw goes into the middle section of the skid plate, and the shorter screw goes into the right next to the chassis rails. Step 3 is to open up the transmission case. You can remove the transmission housing by removing 5 screws. One, two, three, four, five. We will be changing these two gears to change to 11.83% overdrive. In step 4A, we will remove the gears that will be changed out. We will remove the smaller one first. Here is the 27 teeth one that we took off from the transmission and we will be replacing with the 26 tooth. In order to remove the larger one, you will need to remove the four screws. Here's the 53 tooth one that will be replaced by the 54 tooth. In step 4B, we'll be reinstalling the gear assemblies. Here is the 53 tooth gear reattached to using the 4 screws. Now we will need to add some grease. For this I will be using marine grease.
Now we'll re reassemble using the 26 tooth gear. And once again, we'll be adding some grease. and we'll install it back into the spot. In step five, we will put back the transmission housing. Before you reattach, the screws turn the drive shaft to ensure that the gears are working and also this will distribute the grease on the gears The transmission case has to be reinstalled. We'll check the drive shaft to ensure that everything is working. And this should also help distribute the grease. Step 6. Now we are ready to put back the transmission. Stock position is to have the motor facing front. Line the transmission and install the four bolts loosely, making sure that you're using the correct lengths. The longer one goes into the middle section. The short one goes to the chassis rails. We'll be tightening the bolts later after we install the drive shafts. Step 7. Let's connect the drive shaft. When you connect the drive shaft, you want to make sure they are in phase, which means that the joints bend in the same orientation on the X and the Y axis. And the best way to tell is, is using the position of the grub screw. Basically, you want the grub screw on the axle to match the grub screw holes of the drive shaft towards the transmission. I find that it's easier to adjust the grub screw or install the drive shaft from the top. Basically, in order to get in phase, you want to make sure the grub screw is aligned together 
on the XOR side as well as on the transmission side. We're now in finished installing the transmission at the bottom skip plate. Step 8. Let's test to make sure that everything works correctly. I have connected the battery, turned on the receiver and the ESC. And I've also marked it with two stickies over there just to show the differences in the overdrive. You can clearly see the front is rotating much faster than the rear. That's all that is to install the optional 11.83% overdrive gears on Element Enduro. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please click on the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification button to be notified about future videos.